Hey y'all, Primal Punch here. Um, I promised a video about a do-it-yourself wrist exerciser, okay? Um, what you'll need is some kind of weight. You'll need some kind of stands, okay? I'm using some cinder blocks that I've got here. You can use whatever you might have, alright? Saw horses, etc. You know? Um, you'll need some kind of weight. Depending on how high you make this, you can use, you know, a five-gallon bucket full of rocks. Whatever you got, but for this, I'm using some plate weights. Just real quick, I'm going to show you this. What we've got here is a single bar. I've stabilized it because I don't want it rolling on me, you know. And then you've got your second bar, which is going to have to be, you know, obviously a little bit shorter. Two loops of rope, which are going to give us a place to, to rest this. And I'm not using the kind of rope that I would use if this was going to be my permanent rig, okay? This is just some, some crappy, cheap clothesline stuff that, you know, is probably going to braid pretty quickly. Um, this is a piece of tubes, uh, tube steel. And I just, uh, this was on the junk pile when we moved in here. I've run a length of 3 8 inch rope through it. You can use whatever you have. Remember to take the time to sand the inside, okay? You want to, to take any burrs like that, it's going to braid your rope. And you can also put duct tape over each part of the rope that's going to contact the metal, uh, the steel, because that uh, duct tape has a way of, of kind of gumming up a surface so it won't abrade your rope as quickly because even a non-sharp piece of steel will still rope through rope if it's... Uh, abraded enough. Next, you're going to need a loop of rope, which I have already tucked through itself around here, okay? Like so. Have it approximately center point. I left these on just in case I need to retie it or something. Don't let those bug you, okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and put this uh, through here. Now, the way you're going to do that you kind of, it's going to look like this, okay? Like a, a couple of butt cheeks or a heart or something like that. And then you make a little circle so that it'll hold your little piece of steel rod or wood dowel rod, maybe strong enough, you know? It's just to drop through that hole in those plate weights. Now we're going to drop this through. You know what, I'll bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing a little better. I don't have a, a tripod set up. You see how I'm dropping that, that, that piece of rod now? I'm dropping it down through those holes and then just, just go ahead and tip your plate weights up. Sorry, y'all. I don't have, like, all the, the fancy gizmos and, and, and whatnot that other channels have. You just kind of you get the cheap, cheap version with me. The, the do-it-yourself. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna look like this at the bottom. You seeing that? You said okay. Now we can tip that back down, and I'm gonna put you back over here. Now that we've got that done, make sure this is all in in the frame there. We want to go ahead and safely lift this up and we are going to go into the loops one at a time okay well that's really stretching so the loops aren't really going to help us too much here but those loops would hold that up okay now okay I've got a gang of stretch so I have to go ahead and retie just like I kind of figured and you're going to have have growing pains like this. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Okay? I'm going to take some of that slack out because I want resistance. I need that resistance. It's the whole reason I'm doing this. Okay. Now I've taken some of the slack out. Now we'll go in to one of our loops. Okay? Hold it and tuck it into the other loop. Even them out, get them close enough so it's not just going to pull out on you. Now, 
you can go ahead and bring this up to the bar and do this two-handed okay or get your grip in the center feel it so that it's balanced and then do this one-handed now we have a really neat great way to cheaply work out our hands at home okay and when, whatever uh, materials you might decide you want to use make sure that you bear in mind that it's going to be holding X amount of weight okay find that balance point so you get a nice nice even There you have it. Super simple. I'm going to scooch you a little closer, make sure this is that you're getting a good view. I know a lot of you are going to say, damn, that's ghetto. But it works, okay? And that's what we're after. We're after being able to get a pump, get a workout without having to spend a bunch of money in the process. Alright? So let's go ahead and do another set since we're here. Hang it down on your fingertips. Really let her go. Oh, what's that? You need to work the thumb? The pinch grip? Well, let's go ahead and just hook that thumb on there. Instead of using the pad of the, the, the pad of the thumb. Or the, the pad of your palm. So there you have it. Really simple, okay? Um, okay, so that's it, you guys. Uh, again, you're going to need some kind of weight. You're going to need some rope. I would recommend duct tape. And you'll need some patience, okay? To just figure out what you're doing and, and everything. You know, you could do this between a couple of chairs, uh, a couple of bar stools, you know whatever you might have again saw horses you can even make a very simple super simple stand with two pieces of two by four don't angle the ends so that they meet leave them so that you get a V and that'll automatically stabilize your bar when you put that and then like an A you would put another piece across to uh, to stabilize that and one uh, one piece across to the other A okay at least one I'd recommend two and now you've stabilized that and you've got a, a good frame to work from you know this all depends on what you have available to you uh, heck you know if you've got a couple pieces of steel you go to the park and uh, you know maybe there's there's some playground equipment there or something that's got two things that you could put it between you know we can always find a way to get a good workout alright so I just really wanted to share that with you all uh, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and, and everything let's go ahead and see if we can can do this together here alright we get our grip we raise it up we make sure that we're nice and nice and even and then we're gonna just go ahead and close that up this is only 50 pounds I'm not doing a real hardcore workout here let it go down to the fingertips, let her hang there for a second feel that burn, bring her back up keeping it even, keeping it even gotta get the other gotta get the other meat hook in action there gotta get the other meat hook, try and get her even and there we go Ooh. you know you're gonna you're gonna have your little little problems and everything but all in all, you're going to find that being self-sufficient will save you money, and at the end of the day, you'll have a level of pride in accomplishing your workout that wouldn't be available to you if you had used store-bought equipment, okay? Because you made your own way. Well, I don't want to keep y'all. I appreciate you coming by and hanging out with me. Live free, punch hard and grip hard.
get you a nice little pump there look at that sucker all right that's enough of that nonsense mr. mr. primal punch I dig you all and I'm super glad you're here okay be good I dig you bye